So make a really appropriate welcoming for our first storyteller tonight, Stephen Haskins. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, 64, as in 1964. I was two and a half years old. I was an only child. And like most toddlers, I'm pretty sure I like being the center of attention. <laughs> two important events happened in 1964. My mother gave birth to my little brother, <laughs> and the Ford Motor Company introduced the 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. I mean, this little pony car took the world by storm, okay? Men and women both loved it. Young and old bought it. It was affordable. It was sporty. It was practical. I mean, I could go on and on and on about the Ford Mustang, but I only have five minutes, right? Okay. So let me just tell you why I love the Ford Mustang. I love the Ford Mustang because my dad loved the Ford Mustang. My dad loved all cars, but he really loved the Ford Mustang. In 1968, the Mattel Toy Company introduced the first line of Hot Wheels, the little toy cars. I was six years old, my little brother Frank was four. Every couple weeks, there were 16 total in that series, by the way. Every couple weeks, my dad would bring a new car home for us and we'd run downstairs to see if it was the fastest of the lot. We had a little drag strip set up, two orange tracks, it was pretty simple. Two orange tracks side by side in a straight line, descending about four feet, finish line ending halfway down the hall. <laughs> now, my brother and I, obviously being young, we gravitated toward the cars with super cool names like Beatnik Bandit and Python, but my dad always chose the custom Mustang. 10 years later, I'm 15, my dad comes home from work and he announces, I'm thinking seriously about buying a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang convertible. Now I'm 15, I don't have my license yet, and I'm begging him to buy this car. <laughs> and he immediately starts hedging. He's like, I don't know, it's, it's in really rough shape. It's gonna need a lot of work. It's a total project car. I'm begging him more and he's hedging more. I get desperate and I just say, well, how much do they want for it? I'm 15. He says, $400, I think I can get it for $400. I'm like, I run to my room, I grab all the money to my name that I've been saving up, it was just over $400, and I put it on the table and I said, please buy this car. <laughs> the next day the money's gone, and when I see the car for the first time, he's pulling around the corner and heading up the street. This is when I realized he's right, it was in rough shape. <laughs> it was three different colors. It was red, white, and black, painted with some form of latex house paint <laughs> with a paintbrush. The convertible top had been ripped to shreds and was flapping in the wind. And as he got closer and pulled into the driveway, I realized that the interior was covered with hay and bird shit. The wheels didn't even match. I didn't care though, it was a Ford Mustang and it was my very first car. Now I realized years later that my dad green-lighted this project to kind of give something for him and I to work on together. You see, my dad was a superman when it came to tools. He could do anything, he, you know, plumbing, electrical, mechanical, welding, you name it, expert level. My dad actually built our very first house with his bare hands and the help of a couple neighbors. He was that guy that would always stop if someone was broken down on the side of the road. Unfortunately, I did not inherit that skill. <laughs> From my dad, my little brother Frank did, but I did not. All I wanted to do was play sports 24-7. It wasn't long after we got the car, my inavailability made Project Mustang stall. Now this is where, oh, and I was also jealous of my little brother because he did have that mechanical aptitude and he always helped dad around the house with projects. And I thought, he spends a lot more time with dad than I do, but I just, I wanted to play sports. So, um, let's see, where was I? Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunately, this is where the story turns, uh, it takes a hard turn. Um, three months later, that winter, 
Uh, my dad um, suffered a massive heart attack at the age of 47 and died. My brother and I were devastated, obviously, and that Mustang sitting in the driveway was just like a constant reminder that he wasn't coming back. The car sat for a year and a half. I didn't have the tools mentally or physically to do anything with it. And uh, finally, my brother gets his license. He's motivated to work on it. I'm skeptical. I just said, whatever, do whatever you want. Well, it wasn't long before I realized that my little brother had been paying very close attention to my dad because within a few months, he had that car running and we shared the car that whole next summer. That was the point when I realized that my sibling jealousy had turned to respect and admiration. Now, earlier I mentioned that I could go on and on and on about the Ford Mustang, <laughs> but really it's my little brother I could go on and on and on about. Thank you. <laughs> 